Hi guys, how are you doing? It's Mike from PSI. The following bit of footage is taken from a YouTube video by David Gladden. He has labelled it Night Cam Sees Ghost 2. Take a look. So I've now jumped across to OBS Studio. It's recording the screen, what you are seeing now. Um, this is actual Movavi editing suite where I'm putting the video together. Uh, I've just noticed a few things. If you look at the cursor on the screen, can you see that moving? Um, there's a little white spike here. Um, if we click roughly on it and press play, Um, there's another white spike here, over here. Let me just press play again. Again, when you're seeing these little white spikes, these are sound spikes. Um, there's one there. Um, there's a few smaller ones, what we can't quite make out on the screen. And there's another one uh, just there. This is when this thing is flying closer to the camera. It's leaving a sound trail. Um, this really does tell me that there it is on the screen there look that white line that this is in fact an insect uh, the reason that I'm saying that is an insect is because there is a sound trace the sound spikes so every time that insects flying closer to the camera the buzzing of the wings um, is not easily picked up by the camera but there is a sound trail there. Um, and not to mention the processor speed in his CCTV system uh, maybe it's not that fast uh, the shutter rate on the cameras as well that has a lot to do with it it's a slower shutter speed as an insect's flying past you're not getting that 4k quality you're only getting frame miss a frame frame miss a frame like that so this is an insect the next thing you're going to ask why is it showing up as white or silver when it's flying about the room let me tell you why that camera uh, is shooting in infrared night vision. Um, here's one of the cameras that I use on a small rig. This is a 4K camera. Uh, this is with the infrared night vision. Uh, this is the camera rig it actually sits on. So that will that will sit on there. Um, you've got the lamp with a multi different colors on uh, to shoot in different uh, frame colors. You've got the big infrared lamp uh down the bottom we've got a uh, infrared like it's a scope so i can get down long passageways with that this is what they use on um rifles for night shooting um so when that infrared bounces off the insect it shines back as silver or white i'm going to give you an example of an older camera this is a sony uh night vision it's got the built-in hard drive attached to it um so recently we've been to the RF base and I put this on a camera rig for Barbara, one of our moderators, to sit in the basement with Rachel, the other moderator. Let me show you that footage and this is debunking our own work. Take a look. So in the first frames, I slowed it right down so you could actually see the insect coming across the screen. Um, as the infrared light flashed and bounced back, it showed up as white, if not silver. Um, and the frames after that, where it was back to normal speed, uh, Rachel said to Barbara, what was that? And Barbara said, I don't know, I think it was a bit of dust. That is how quick it flew past the screen. I think it's fair to say that any rods or orbs that are captured in uh, footage in infrared could be down to insects anyway thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video leave a comment down below i'll see you soon take care you have been watching psi subscribe for 10 years good luck hit the bell button for regular updates